Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? I've been doing a bit of home improvement lately, specifically some electrical work, and I figured I'd do a really quick review on a new product that I bought related to that. It's a Hyoki 3120 non-contact voltage detector. I used to use these really cheap, simple two-wire detectors. The problem is I don't find them terribly reliable, and they're also a little bit unsafe because in order to detect voltage, you need physical contact with bare conductors. If that circuit is live, you do run the risk of getting shocked. These non-contact detectors are great because they're kind of wireless in nature. You don't actually need to physically touch the bare metal of the wire in order to see if there's voltage there or not. The Hyoki model, honestly, I picked up because of my previous experience with the Hyoki product, my multimeter. I found that item to be really, really well constructed, a great value for the money considering its build quality. And honestly, I was curious if the 3120 voltage detector was built to the same standard considering its much lower price tag. What I can tell you is this, the 3120 is built very well. It's proudly proclaimed on the packaging and on the unit itself that it's made in Japan and that shows. It doesn't use cheap plastics, the plastics feel very sturdy. There's a lot of nice little design touches to it that I like as well. The battery cap on the end also serves as the on off switch and you don't have to put that cap on in a specific orientation when you replace the batteries. It fits on either of 180 degrees, so you don't have to fiddle around when trying to change the batteries or turn the unit on or off. Surprisingly, it also comes with a pair of AAA batteries, which are rated for about 100 hours of continuous use. Like a lot of voltage detectors out there, it turns red and beeps when it detects voltage, but I also like that it has a green pilot light to let you know that the unit is turned on and the batteries are still functioning properly. This is a nice safety feature, so there's no question as to whether the unit is even on and working. One thing I really like about the 3120 is its range. It doesn't pick up voltage in a wire too far away from that conductor, but you also don't have to be too close to that conductor to pick up the voltage either. This is really helpful in a couple of ways. Let's say you've got a bundle of wires. Some of them are live, some of them are not. Having that detection work when you're only close enough to that specific wire gives you some granularity. You can tell which wires in a bundle are live and which ones are not. At the same time, you don't have to be too close to that wire in order to detect voltage. So if you've got, say, a cable or a cord assembly that has really thick sheathing on it, it'll still be able to detect through that. All this really sums up into is this detector is great for a lot of different disciplines. Not only just household use like the way I use it, but also professionals I could see really benefiting from this tool. Electricians or engineers, people working with machinery or high voltage circuits. It is CAT4 1000 volt rated, so you can use it on some really large industrial power equipment as well. Overall, I think it's really well constructed, very nicely designed, it feels solid, it feels like I could throw it down the stairs or put it through a really abusive day of work and it'll hold up just fine. I think the best part though is the price. It's very comparatively priced to other really cheap voltage detectors that you could buy from a big box store. And considering it's so much better constructed and so much better quality, made in Japan by a company that's really dedicated to building professional electrical testing equipment, I think you can't go wrong. I picked mine up for 15 bucks, and honestly, that's a fantastic value. So if you are in the market for a non-contact voltage detector, you might want to take a look at the Hyoki 3120. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Those help quite a bit. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. The button's right down there somewhere. And as always, thank you all so much for watching.